How do you create a vlog? Today I'm going to show you how. You've started your adventure. Now you have a story to tell. But how? This is your show, RV Media Creators. I'm Garrett, and in this community, we will show you how. So let's show the world your story. If you haven't watched my Essentials of YouTube series, I highly suggest that you go check that out. I'll leave a link in the description and at the end of this video. What I'm gonna go into today is more how to create a vlog style video. This will be premiering on our Diary of a Family page probably in the next couple weeks. So you'll wanna stay tuned. You're getting a little bit of a sneak peek of what's going on over on the other channel. What I'm gonna be talking about today is really not a whole lot different than what I've done in the past. Just keep that in mind. I have brought all my video files in to my editor. I'm gonna go ahead and add a section of those videos so that you can understand what I'm doing. I'm not gonna do my whole video. You are going to want to join us on Diary of a Family to check out this entire adventure. What I'm gonna do is select a certain amount of these. That's probably good. I'm going to bring them into my editor. There are a few things you'll definitely want to take note of. I'm trying to keep as much of this not Final Cut Pro related. So I'll try and use terms that most of your editors are going to use, like cutting, fixing the audio, speeding up, slowing down the video. Take what I learn and figure out how that works with your editor. All of this video that I'm going to show you now was shot completely on my iPhone, spur of the moment. I had kind of an idea of a video I wanted to create, which meant I didn't have my nice microphone, I didn't have all of the things that I normally have to capture a high quality video. So I'm going to make some adjustments with my audio to make sure that it is nice and loud and that you guys can hear what I'm trying to say. Back to the computer. Now my first couple clips have a gas can, gas cans in the back, I have my trash, and I have all that. My plan for this video is to start out with a video montage and then like go into my intro. So I'm gonna go find some music that I can edit this down into that's nice and exciting. Let's see if this one works. Put this down below. Now I definitely do not need 37 seconds of a gas can. I have about a minute worth of B-roll that I'm going to edit down to fit into, let's see here. About 10 seconds. One thing I like and I do on most of my B-roll especially when it's running with music, is I like to slow it down. I'm gonna take all the clips that I'm gonna use for slowing down, and I'm actually just going to slow them all down now. I'm also not needing any audio for this section, so I can take out the audio there. Now what I'm left with is about two minutes worth of video that I need to get down to 10 seconds. What you can do now is you can find, let's see here, action shots. So you're looking at here and see I'm filling up the gas can. Magnetic timelines. I'm done there. I'm gonna move it over. So I'm moving the that over. Probably take that out. Both gas cans back. Take those out. Close the now I have 18 seconds to work with to cram down into 10 seconds. I pretty much bulk cut what I needed down to a smaller form, which will work for us. Now let's see what I can do here. When you have music fading in, it is really nice and it's an easy thing to do to fade up that clip. Now I know that on mobile, things will be different. I'll do a little more advanced editing techniques next, so you'll be able to see how you can do a lot of the same things here but just in a little bit of a different way 
over on probably iMovie to start out with. I do have a bunch of different editors I want to try out on the channel, so stay tuned for those. Those are coming. All right, I'm gonna make this one just a little bit longer. And then, that one a little shorter. This is a little bit tougher with editors that do not show you your uh, your audio file. If you look down below, you'll see that you can tell where the the different hits are in the music. So when they talk, it's a little bit louder. Those are the key points that you're wanting to capture when you're editing with the music. All right, let's that over so I don't delete it now what you end up with is about 10 seconds of the start of my day a lot of editing is really playing around with your clips to find out how they fit get my new intro in there and we'll see how that looks Definitely not a normal Diary of a Family intro, but that's what I like about creating videos is you can change the flavor of your video just by switching it up just a little bit. One thing you can do and I think I might do that here. I'm going to actually just keep the music where it's at and then mute the music on my intro. And we'll see how that looks. Now that I'm talking, you want to make sure that your audio is nice and loud, but not too loud so that you get distortion. Every editor has a different way of doing this, but you want to make sure you have good, clean audio before you start editing. So kind of figure out how that works first before you start cutting things up. Under my audio, I want to see what just Voice Enhance does. So what exactly is... One thing I would like to bring to your attention and it's something that you can use is how you transition your videos. Now, you can just cut the clip and go to the next clip and that's totally fine. But there are other ways that you can do it as well that make it a little exciting. You'll notice at the end of my video here, I kind of spin out like this. One of the tips you can do that's kind of cool is you can take this and right as you're, you can go frame by frame, it's really, you kind of have to get down in there. And you can cut your clip somewhere in between where you're moving your camera. Let's see how this looks with that kind of transition. The life that we have there. You'll see that the movement is the transition. I was able to transition to the next clip without you even really realizing that it, it did it some of the daily life that we have. One thing I am going to do though is stabilize this clip. Now while we wait for this to get done, we can talk a bit about how you want to tell your vlog story. Now a lot of times this is very different from like an adventure story like hey we went to Bridal Falls and we experienced blah blah blah. A lot of times vlogs are kind of this is what we're doing today. This is the plan and you say, okay, well, we're gonna get a cup of coffee, so you're videotaping a cup of coffee. You're driving somewhere, so you're videotaping that. It is kind of putting together the entire day as an adventure. That is one of the keys to consider when you're, when you're doing a vlog style. The other thing to consider is vlog styles aren't perfect. You do not need to get everything exactly right. It's kind of, it's a rough edit, it's rough telling your story, but that's what makes it kind of cool. And that's really the whole essence of it. Don't be perfect, you don't need to be perfect. Another thing to consider is when you are talking, make sure to bring your audio down. No one wants to try and hear you talk over music. Garrett, we're dying, we're dying. 
to see how it's really loud and you can't even really hear what you're talking about. And we'll take our music right about here and we'll bring the audio down to I think about 16. Now we'll see how this looks. I'm Garrett with Diary of a Family where we're intentionally living Much life. better. Another tip for vlogging, take out long pauses and ums uh, so meaningless words that are not going to benefit your story. Now don't make it super choppy so if, if it's just like a little uh that's fine but I have this so and then a blank. Cut that out it helps kind of move the story along. Now an RV or whether you're not let me show you some of the things we do and then we'll get back to the trailer. There are little words like if you're trying to say a thought that you have and in the mid sentence you kind of realize oh that's not what I wanted to say. Sometimes those are also words you want to cut out. The other option would be just to stop think about what you want to say and say it again. It's not a big deal to just edit out the first take that you that you say. Most people understand when they're watching this kind of video that it's cut. It's not like one long take and all that. It is you telling your day and you're taking out things that aren't really necessary or important to the story. There's a big long gap there, so I'll cut that out. Rid of trash. Like we are, gonna have to get creative. Don't dump illegally and don't dump out in the middle of the desert. Cell phones are notorious for getting the orientation of a video wrong. It's pretty easy. Find out how your editor does it to switch the orientation so that you can get the get it in the right order. Upside down. Yay! All right, got it fixed. Mm. One key to your audio is try to copy what you've done on your other clips so that the audio itself is fine. You don't want most of your clips being okay. And then there's that one clip that you forgot that's like, you're like, no, you need it all to be the same. There are a couple ways of doing that. You can select all the clips that have talking in it and edit the audio like as a batch edit or just remember that oh, I have it in voice in hands at two. And that's basically what I had set on my other videos. Now I have this section here that I don't have. I'm gonna figure out, all right, jump that here. And now I have. Got my receipt. I'm going to drop, bring my music up for that section and then drop it back down when I start talking again. You'll notice that in about 20 minutes, half an hour, I have created about a minute 30 roughly of a clip. It normally takes about 45 minutes to an hour-ish per minute of clip if you're trying to get very in-depth but if you're vlog styling it a lot of times you don't need to you can keep it short you don't have to make it drawn out and get it absolutely perfect keep that in mind when you're editing but this is kind of what we have so far I think it's a good intro to a vlog style so what exactly is a day in the life of a full-time RVer. Let's find out. There's one kind of tr transition that I think I want to add in here and I want to show you how that works. Now right here you'll see that I went and I dumped trash in a trash can. Well I talk about it then I do it and then it comes right back you can do a transition where you can still be talking while the clip is being playing. And I think that's called an L transition. 
I believe. Basically, I'm going to copy, and honestly, it's different for every editor. What I normally do is duplicate the clip that I want to kind of extend. I'll paste it. So now I have two clips. Put that there, and then I will extend it over the clip I want to add it to. Now, when you see it, and don't dump illegally and don't dump out in the middle of the desert. <laughs> You notice that I still talk while it moves over. All that I'm doing is keeping, you can even trim it up if you don't like it, and I'll do the exact same thing. What you're doing is you're jumping the B-roll ahead of you finish talking, but it's within the theme of what I am discussing. I'm talking about you know places you shouldn't consider dumping, like out in the middle of the desert. Don't mess up boondocking locations for everybody else, please. And then that leads right into this B-roll. And then you can come right back in. You can add fancy transitions, you can keep it simple. For a lot of my tutorials, I don't really wanna go into a lot of the extra cool transitions and things like that, mainly because a lot of editors are not going to have the type of transitions that maybe Final Cut Pro has. If you really want, I can do a how-to on Final Cut, but there's also a million videos out there on how to edit. A type of B-roll that really helps kind of bridge the gap between either locations or time of day are time-lapse videos. Time-lapse really helps move along the time of your day or help you move to another location. It's very kind of interesting and fun thing to do. A lot of cell phones these days have some really cool time-lapse features. So play around with what time-lapse options you have and see what you can do from that. This video has only really been sped up. It has not been stabilized or anything like that. To our next chore. I've now got a chunk of my video created. You'll have to watch our video, like I said, when it comes out on Diary of a Family. When it does, I will link that in the description so you can watch that adventure. This is how you can create a vlog style video about something you're doing during the day or heading to an adventure because sometimes getting there is the adventure. It is awesome to see sites and stuff like that, but if you just capture the sites, you're leaving out a whole lot of the story that you have to tell. Let's see this from the beginning. So what exactly is a day in the life of a full-time RVer? Let's find out. I'm Garrett with Diary of a Family, where we're intentionally living life with you. Thought I'd take you along with me as I do some of our daily routines. We don't try to do it on a daily basis, but these are, you know, things that just have to get done, whether you're in an RV or whether you're not. Let me show you some of the things we do, and then we'll get back to the trailer, and we'll show you some of the daily life that we have there. Well, we don't have trash, so we have to find a way to dump our own trash. And travel centers are normally a good way of getting rid of trash. RV parks and other places like that normally have a trash can that you can just dump it to. But if you're boondocking like we are, you kind of have to get creative. Don't dump illegally and don't dump out in the middle of the desert. Let's Let's Got my receipt for the gas. Now since we boondock, or have been for the past couple months, we have to get power for our trailer. Since we don't have solar, we have to use our generator. And every week or so, we are getting more gas in our generator. It's just a way of life, and it's still cheaper 
been going into an RV park for a month. Right now, being in Arizona, the weather is just right for boondocking. So we're not actually having to spend a ton of money on just surviving. Let's move on to our next chore. What is next on my list? Laundry. That's right. We have to have clean clothes. Let's get this going. And that is really a simple way to create a vlog style video on documenting your day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, I'm Garrett and I want to help you tell your story. Bye.